Good morning. So today's quick live feed is actually about what to do when your blueprint, aka what you intend to happen, doesn't match your reality. And that is you've essentially got two options. You can change your blueprint, if you like, like what you expect of yourself. Because so often the reason why we don't do the things that we know we need to do for long enough to see the results we want is because our blueprint is like almost ideal. So we compare actual results to ideal all the time. So we're always looking at this would be perfect and I'm currently doing this, but it's not perfect. Then we're always reminding ourselves to that this isn't perfect. And that is a surefire way to make yourself feel low. That is where you destroy your confidence. So instead, what I want you to do is either accept that you probably won't be perfect because it doesn't exist. Or two, change your expectations. An easy way to do this is to simplify it down to three things. So this is something that we do in the Kickstart program is give you free tasks a day that you tick off that you're accountable for, either to me, well, definitely to me, and also to one of the other ladies in the group. That works well too. Accountability partners is powerful. Or it could be a friend, family member, whatever it is, whatever you, you're doing. Tell them the free things and get them to check in with you on the, on, at the end of the day. See if that just makes a difference to whether you do it or not, because all of a sudden it becomes real. And these three things can be very, very simple things. Like I had a chat with one of the ladies this morning. We realised that stress and tiredness is the key issue for her. Stress and tiredness is the reason why she, she knows what to do, but she snacks because she's stressed and tired. So at that time, we've created a new habit at that time, new behaviour that she's got to do. So when she finishes work, she's got to one, make sure she has a protein snack handy. Two, she's got to change her environment. So she's either going to go for a walk, or ring a friend. They're the two things that she was going to do. Because at the moment, she's got into the habit of coming straight home, not really knowing when dinner is. Then she finds herself snacking, going, why am I actually doing this? Why am I doing this? And it can be sometimes, sometimes as simple as that. Having a protein snack handy, have you done it? Going for a walk when you finish work. Because sometimes we don't actually properly wind down from work. So you take the stress from work straight into your kitchen. That's another thing. One of the ladies is it's real simple things like her her habit. She's got to make sure her toaster is away in the cupboard because then she's got one more barrier between getting the toast, putting in the toaster and having it and going, oh, the toaster's in the cupboard. Got to get it out. And you can still get it out, of course, but it's just self-awareness. That's what it's building on. Fitness. It could be that you come home now and you do like one, some, one of the ladies does one of our home workouts, five minute workouts, completely change your stakes. Remember how you feel is just the state. Good thing is you created it. So the good thing is you can change that and exercise. There's a surefire way to do that. Endorphins, how you feel, etc., can completely change that. So going back to it, if you're struggling, stress, tiredness, break it down into three things, three simple tasks a day, and don't underestimate the power of how small these things are, but you do them over time. Compound effect, change the way you feel, change what you do, that will change the results you get. Hope that helps. If you haven't got a copy of my book yet, which is free right now, go to fruityfit.com forward slash free, fruity book, sorry. <laughs> fruityfit.com forward slash fruity book. You can get it there. That goes over the six principles that are used in the coaching program to go over like willpower, motivation, how you can structure it in yourself. So you can take these principles and build your own one. Build your own program around that accountability, etc. Because ultimately... You only get results for doing. And I can't stress enough, even if you're going to hit go, even if you're going to do something that you feel isn't the best thing to do, just do it because you'll still learn what does work from it and what doesn't work from it. Going to go off on a bit of tangent now, but just coming to me. One of the days I'm working with was like, ask me, Matt, what do you think about this diet? It was a real low carb diet, like really low carb. In my head and the old me would go, well, that's probably not sustainable, but you know what? Try it. She come back to me a week, week later I said, here's the pros, here's the cons. She went and done it. She said, you know what? It's probably not sustainable long term, but I felt less hungry. I felt more in control of my food that day and it, and it gave me boundaries. So she now had structure. So she didn't eat carbs on these days. For her, that worked. Not all the time, but now she's going to go, you know what? When I've got a meal out, when I've got a social event, 
on those two days leading up to it, I'm going to use that strategy because it helps me control my hunger, helps me reduce my calories, helps me feel in control of food, which is pretty key. It's quite liberating for her. Then she still gets to enjoy herself on the weekend and within her food targets that we've talked about. So my point is, personalise it to you, break it down into simple habits and just do, execute. Like I always say, accountability will help with that. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Enjoy the weather. Remember, the weather will pass, just like your feelings, just like an exercise session. So take care and speak soon.